Hello, welcome to my little tutorial about a nice LPA live path effect called Stitch Soup Path. First of all, get rid of, of this uh, page border with uh, clicking on Document Properties and then unselect Show Page Border. Close and stroke one key on the keyboard, keyboard the, I mean the number one key to have a one-to-one -one scale uh, canvas. Now, let's select a spiral, okay, convert object to path, now it's no longer a shape, it's a path, and then let's duplicate with it, it with uh, Control D, enlarge a little bit, and rotate as well, to avoid the, the, mm, this, this kind of, of conflict. Okay, it's enough. Now, Stitch Subpath, as a name, works between two subpaths. Now, we have uh, at present um, two, two paths, two distinct paths, in, independent each other. We have to make them join in a single path. So we have to select both and then combine with the control key or, or this item on the menu. Now we have a single path composed by 26 nodes and two sub paths. Now we can apply this LPA path effect called Stitch Soup Path. Ah. Now, we have five segments, uh, so we have to increase them to just to have some visual uh, result. 100. Now, better. We have also other uh, variables. Start Edge Variance. The uh, Start Edge is the edge of the outer spiral. So going here to modify it will shift the starting point in some way, pretty randomly. And the same with an edge variance, we'll modify this, the ending point. So set it in 25. Okay. The same with the spacing. Uh, start spacing variance and end spacing variance. In this case, the spacing is the mm, space between the ending or starting point. I think it's better to leave in this, in this way. Uh, reset all the values and we can now apply some different shape. Now we are mm, pretty uh, annoyed by this segment, we want something different, an oval maybe, draw an oval, path, object to path, uh, let's okay, rotate it uh, by 90 degrees and copy it by Ctrl C or the uh, contextual menu, copy. Now back to our original form and select this link to path on clipboard hmm. is uh, uh, pretty nice. Difference with past path simply is if you use I uh, use uh, the linking uh, option means that modifying the, the object we have put in our clipboard we can have reflection on the design. Example this. We can also also modify from uh, directly on canvas with this button, click and uh, click and drag on a particular node. This means that we have we can modify our form in this way. Now it's uh, pretty easy. I want to show you another um, feature, interesting feature of this. Uh, um, LPA. Now, 
select all, all with the uh, control E and delete. Let's draw a segment this way. Okay. Now a uh, smaller one. and enter. Now we have two independent paths to be joined to form a single path with two sub paths. Same uh, combine and again LPA stitch sub path add. Now if we stroke some 75 here we have such a, a pseudo perspective effect. I think it's uh, pretty interesting, it's like uh, looking from the roof of the palace on to the ground. It's, it's uh, an effect I want to share with you because it's, I think it's uh, pretty and useful. Now it's all for this um, LPA. I hope you can understand my, my poor English, not easy for me. Anyway, enjoy Inkscape.